All right, it's the 12th annual Beaver Creek Wine and Spirits Festival, and one of the big wineries that you're going to want to check out is Mercer Wines. I'm here with Willis Mercer, and Willis, this name of yours has quite a, a history in your family, doesn't it? Yes, it does. <laughs> uh, Willis, I uh, was named after my great-grandfather who homesteaded out in South Central Washington, uh, down by the Columbia River in 1886, and our family's been on the same property ever since, so still stewards over the same land for you know over 125 years so a long time that's amazing and your history your family history you can trace it back even even further than that can you t explain who hugh mercer was yeah it's uh like my fourth or fifth great grandfather came came over from scotland uh when english invaded and uh anyway he ended up becoming the uh, physician to george washington and then became a general in the revolutionary army and, and died at the battle of princeton so that long history of our family does here in the States. <laughs> this is amazing. I mean, most people know like who their grandparents are and that's about it. Yeah. So why is, is Princeton a big part of, of your family history and, and part of what you do even today? Well, I mean, it's just heritage, you know, and where you, where you, uh, where you came from is important to us and, and our family. And, uh, like I said, we pioneered, uh, the horse seven Hills, uh, back in the 1886, actually six years before the state was a state. And, um, Planted the first wine grapes in 1972, and just been uh, in the agriculture business for for a long time. So that's incredible. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna you're going to be buying a piece of history when you buy Mercer wines. And today, people that are going to be out on the hike and lunch uh, opportunity here at Beaver Creek Wine and Spirits, they're going to be able to taste some of your wine. Yeah, the Chardonnay. So it's it's uh, kind of a fun venue today. We'll be hiking and enjoying some Chardonnay at lunch, and looking forward to that. And, uh, my first time up here, so I'm excited to actually do a little hike and yeah. see the area. Beaver oh. Creek is beautiful. Love Colorado, man. Right, and the weather the weather is absolutely perfect, especially for some Chardonnay after you're doing some yeah. hiking. Yeah. And you're you're kind of debuting a brand new label. So, um, so what's in that label? Yeah, we uh, we're actually launching a new label called Mercer Family Vineyards. Uh, it's it's um, a vineyard illustration of one of our uh, vineyards along the Columbia River. So it's uh, kind of showing the consumers where the label comes from and. Mercer Family Vineyards talking about a family-owned winery and, and you know authenticity is kind of what we're trying to get with the label and I think we did a good job with it so I <laughs> yeah. like the label it took a while to develop but it's uh, yeah. we're out launching it. August 1st was our kind of our national launch with it so that's so exciting and, and representing this company that you know really started back in the 1800s with yeah, with your sheep herders yeah we originally sheep herders up in the horse seven hills and that's it's evolved over the years to quite quite a different operation today so Okay, now in, in addition to wines, I think we should also, also mention that you grow several other different crops on your land. Yeah, we have a large uh, vegetable operation as well. We Our, our main uh, product that we grow is carrots, so fresh carrots. Our family actually pioneered the baby carrot industry <laughs> back in the late 80s and early 90s, and, and uh, that really took off, of course, everything, everybody... Everybody eats a baby carrot today, so that's right. kind of fun. <laughs> right. Uh, but yeah, we grow lots of things: carrots, uh, kale, uh, potatoes, sweet corn, garlic, all kinds of crops. A rotational program up there with ir irrigation. Yeah. That's amazing. So you're really taking the land and using it to its fullest capabilities. And for people that haven't tried your wine before, uh, tell us a little bit about the flavors and what are people going to experience? Yeah, we're really fortunate in the fact that. Uh, uh, Willis, you know, homesteaded an area that is an absolute uh, uh, great region to grow grapes. Uh, it's a little microclimate, so we're down on the Columbia River. We're east of the Cascade Mountain Range, so everybody thinks Washington State is wet and cold, which it is on the west side of the state, but you come east, we get a little over five inches of rain a year, um, so it's a desert climate, but we're on the Columbia. And so the Columbia River is the only cut in the Cascade Mountain Range, and so we're fortunate enough to cool off. Um, at night, so all the gorge winds come through and, and cool our vineyards down to about uh, about a 40 degree diurnal, which is the difference between day and nighttime temperature. And so it's a great region to grow wine grapes. So we're known to have soft, dusty tannins, um, great color, good acidity up there because of the because of the growing region. I mean, so fascinating. So if people are interested in finding out more about your wine or more about your family history, I mean, it really is its just a, a cool read. Where, where yeah. would you send them for more information? Uh, you can go to our website, smercerwine.com, and, and uh, you can learn more about uh, uh, all the stuff that we do, and, and, and you can order wine there, too, if you'd like. So. Yeah. Perfect. All yeah. right. Or, you know, just hit him up while you're on the trail for the hike and, <laughs> hike and lunch experience here today at Beaver Creek. So, again, 12th annual Beaver Creek Wine and Spirits Festival, Mercer Wine. And uh, thank you so much for coming out and 
just sharing with us this morning. This oh, is yeah, fascinating. thanks, Ashley. So, and appreciate it. We have more headed your way here on Good Morning Vale, so don't go anywhere.